Chad Chippington's my name. It's a good joke, walking down the road the other day, drug addict comes up to me, he said, I'm a dictator. I said, ah, you probably are, mate. Walking down the road the other day, character comes up to me. He said, uh, I've just got back from Nam. I said, what do you mean, mate, Vietnam? He said, no, Cheltenham. Good place to go for the weekend, Cheltenham. Went there last week, had a good time. Here's another number, rocking with Rita. Let's see you rocking. Cheers. Thank you. Don't swear. Are you over 16? There's no swearing to be going on under 16. I hope you appreciate that. Uh, well, here's a joke. Walking down the road the other day, bloke comes up to me, said I'm a tricky character. I said, I don't believe you. He said, ah, I tricked you. Glad you appreciated that one. Here's another number. Driving down the road, this one's called. All about motorways. Come on now. That's right, pretend you're a cowboy, you can. A good story to tell, a bit of truth goes down well. I was driving down the road the other day, talking to me mate on the CB. I said, uh, you know, plenty of things to talk about. And he said, ah, good bit of weather we've been having recently. I said, yeah, not bad. Anyway, uh, couldn't think of anything else to say to him. So I didn't bother talking to him. Decided to talk to someone else instead. I was on the uh, CB and I said to this uh, bloke, said, uh, has anyone got the time out there? This bloke said, ah, 10-4. I said, I didn't realise it was nearly five past ten. He said, no, no, it's only three o'clock, 10-4. I said, oh, I get what you mean. A bit confusing, you know. And that's the end of that number. Thank you. Cheers. Quieten down, quieten down. Did you know, I've got a true story to tell you now. Two true stories, in fact. True story, watching the television the other day. Quieten down, interesting this is. Watching the television the other day, there was these uh, Chinese people, Chinese people over from China, and they were, uh, you know, at Longbridge, the car factory. And I'm sure you know the car factory, Longbridge, but uh, 
they were there on uh, one of these uh, visits, you know. And they come out of the meeting, they'd had a meeting all afternoon, and uh, they came out of the meeting. There was a Chinese bloke here, English bloke here, interpreter in the middle, you know, because the Chinese bloke couldn't speak English, and the uh, English bloke couldn't speak Chinese. So uh, they had this interpreter, and the Chinese bloke piped up with something, couldn't quite understand him, you know, but uh, the interpreter, he said to the blo English bloke next to him, he said, uh, a good bit of weather we've been having recently. Really interesting, eh? True story, that one. And uh, how about this for a true story? Did you know Elvis Presley? Quieting down, interesting. Elvis Presley's nickname? Chief. It's a true story, that one. Chief is what they used to call Elvis Presley. Here's another number. Close to your hearts, this one, I should imagine. If I can remember what it's called. Ah. Uh, here we go. You think you've lost your love? Oh well, I saw her yesterday. It's you she's thinking of. And she told me what to say. She loves you, and you know that can't be bad. I said she loves you, and you know that can't really be bad. No. She loves you. Join in, you can. She loves you. She loves you. I don't think she does any more, though. She said you hurt. She almost lost her mind But now she said she knows You're not the hurting kind I said she loves you And you know that can't be bad I said she loves you And you know that can't really be bad No Send that one Cheers Good bit of beer there I've had poured on me. Wouldn't have mind it in the mouth though next time, mate. Anyway, here's another joke. I haven't got any, mate, sorry. Anyway. I wouldn't say that if I was you. Tough character, me, you know. Sort you all out outside. Anyone wants to fight, go outside. I'll see you in the river. Well, I won't. I'll be on the boat myself. But uh, if you fancy jumping in the river for a fight, then there you go. A few fishes looking for a few fights tonight, I should imagine. I'll do another number anyway, because... Uh, Alvin Stardust wrote this one. A good bloke, Alvin. Hope you remember him. It's a, a sad number, this one. nothing of it though. But uh, Alvin Stardust happened to turn up on the scene. And I said, what are you doing here, Alvin? He said, I like to do a bit of plane spotting, Ted. I said, I can imagine it's really interesting. He said, ah, it is. And he said to me, I feel like Buddy Holly, Ted, actually. I said, do you, Alvin? He said, ah, it's raining in my heart. I said, well, you shouldn't have been lying on the ground in this bad weather we've been having recently. He said, ah, should have learnt a lesson there, I think. And I said to him, I know how Paul McCartney felt when he got up to say. And you know that can't be bad. That number. Thank you.
Went to uh, Glastonbury. Hey, quiet down. Topical joke. This one went to Glastonbury the other week, walking around the field. Saw this long-haired bloke sitting outside his wigwam. I said, how are you doing, Chief? Did this show the other night? Didn't go down very well, though, you know. Nobody liked me. Plenty of booing going on. And I came off stage, and uh, walking backstage, and my mate said to me, how are you feeling, Ted? I said, uh, like a horse, actually, mate. He said, like a horse? Champion, you mean? I said, no, Shergar. Walking down the road the other day and uh, decided to get me hair cut, you know, walked into the barber's shop, sat down in the chair, said to the bloke, cut me hair around the back, mate. He said, well, what's wrong with this room? Couldn't argue with that. Uh, saw this chicken crossing the road the other day. Walked up to it, said, good evening. Didn't speak to me, though. Not very friendly, these chickens, are they? Walking down the road the other day, this uh, bloke pulled up alongside me in a modern motor car. He said, uh, excuse me, mate, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I said, ah, good motors, dilemmas. Used to have one myself, I said to him. That's it, anyway. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers.